Another day, another plot line for e and &E TV. Hello? Hey, Savannah. How are you doing? I haven't seen you around in a while. I'm fine. So, I heard some stuff happen between you and Skye, and I just want to let you know that I'm still going to be your friend irregardless. Who told you there was stuff happening? Oh, I just heard there's some drama going around and I wanted to make sure you're okay. I don't want it to take away from the amazing film you screened at Fearless. What happened between me and Skye is way more than just drama. Okay, I'm, I'm really fucked up about it, so if you could please stop talking about it, that would be great. Oh, I mean, you know, Sky is really complicated. They had a really rough past. Sky is a shitty person who's untalented, and Jen is an even shittier leader. wrote this song inspired by this new moon in Aries. As I enter this new chapter of my life, I had to reflect on the lengths people will go to protect their image and what real trust looks like. Grateful to my real friends for sticking by me. Babe, can you take that off? You're making some of the members uncomfortable. Yeah, I bet I am. Do you think Priya would like it? All of these assumptions made about what happened with Priya are in bad faith. She's a big part of E&E &E and we're all just trying to heal. You're making this space unsafe for everyone. I am so sick of all of the drama. Hey, are you okay? Do you need help? It just sucks, because I know she's had a hard time with her parents, but like, what the fuck? Yeah, I got one of these too. I think you need to address this head on, and maybe create a town hall where people can express their grievances. Savannah's not the only person you've had issues with. No, she's not. But like, these issues have a lot of nuance to them, you know? And it's like, I just can't solve it overnight. e has been around for like less than a year and everyone expects me to know how to do everything. That's fair. And e, e has done a lot of good and it is a lot of people's chosen family. I can help you organize the town hall if you want. Oh my God, that would be great. Oh, the other day Tim said they would die without e, &E. Sky's done a lot for us and I, I can't afford to lose them. Sky's not the only problem you're dealing with. Yes, but growth takes time for everyone. I really don't think Savannah understands community values. I really hope this town hall lets her realize that she's not the only one affected by this issue. Mm. 
그래야지 가구 문제도 잘 해결하게 도와줘야지 <웃음> 아니야 아니야 이제 괜찮아 음. <웃음> Hey Savannah, I know we haven't spoken much before but I want to let you know that e and &E is having a town hall, and I'd love for you to be there. Why? I know e and &E's had a lot of issues in the past, and I wanted to make sure they're being addressed. I think your input could really help shed some light with what's going on. The community has done so much for me, and I want to make things better. I'll go if John agrees to do something for me first. Wow, this is legit. Yeah, it is pretty cool. So I still have to finish my interviews for my piece on Chosen Family. Thanks for agreeing to this. Let's get started. So, what made you want to start Exhausted Not Exotic? Well, I started the space as a gap year project because I felt like there wasn't a lot of programming for racialized queer and trans teens. After dealing with all the racism in all these white queer spaces, I wanted to make what I wish I had when I was younger. Great. So, what do you do when conflict arises in this safe space? Well, I believe in transformative justice. Like right now, I'm setting up an accountability process with other staff members who can remain impartial in case any issues arise between parties. And what does that process look like? We're still figuring it out internally. Anyone who wants to be a part of it is welcome. This is a learning process for me and everyone else involved. So in the meantime, what do you do when predators come into the space? Like, how do you determine who's safe or unsafe? Well, if someone is making our members uncomfortable, I do my best to step in. Consent is everything to me. Keeping in mind nobody's perfect, and as the only queer space for teens of color, everyone brings in their past. It's up to me to mediate that. I mean, I was really uncomfortable when I saw my rapist in your space. But you said I was canceling them, so how does that make sense? No one should have to go through that. As the person in charge of the space, I manage a lot of our members and volunteers. I just don't think it's fair to use carceral logic when it does more harm than good. No one deserves to be cancelled or left behind. I'm being left behind. You're always allowed back at e, e It's always welcome for you. Who are you without E&E? I don't know. Who are you without your camera? I'm under a lot of pressure, and you're not the only one who's upset with me. At the end of the day, I would rather have the space be a little problematic over having nothing at all. This is the only space for QT BIPOC in all of Hillcrest. I'm helping you with your movie. I'm creating a showcase for artists to show off their work. You're never going to understand the burden of having the community on your shoulders. This looks easy, but it's really hard. No, yeah, you're right. I really don't understand. But I was still assaulted. I don't know at what point I'm ever going to get over that. Savannah, I don't want you to be hurting. Thanks for taking the time to do this interview. I really appreciate it. I'll see you at the town hall. Yeah, see you. Hey, so is Savannah coming? No, 